this is Mike over at Monster Mobile Marketing and today we're going to be taking a look at an exciting defense strategy game called Island Raid HD brought to you by Otter Bites Interactive. In Island Raid you'll be protecting your little slice of paradise from other rival tribes using several different traps as you play through four currently available unique islands with two more coming soon in the near future. So let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay action here kick things off. Yeah, we've got a little jungle music here to spice up the intro a little bit. And this will take us to the level select board, where as you can see we've got four available islands that we can choose from. We've got tropical, volcanic, midnight, and canyons, with two more boards that will be coming soon. As you can also see, it has a list of traps that are available for each island. For instance, under the tropical island, we have sea mines, jungle traps, and quicksand available for that board. All right, we're going to jump into the tutorial real quick, just to give a run through. And here are our rival tribe scouts that will be heading into our beach and through our forest in order to steal our treasure. Now, these are the traps that you can use. As you can see, we uh, we have sea mines that if we tap the screen in the water area, that will stop the boats if placed in the correct spot. And we also have the forest traps, which in the event a boat reaches our beach and the scouts get past our beach, we can touch the screen in the forest and it will drop traps in order to stop those scouts from getting all the way across the board. And we also have quicksand. Now this can be used to basically slow down the scouts. You tap the beach area and it will place a little quicksand thing there and it will slow them down. It will not kill them. But it does give you time to place other traps in other areas. You do have to be careful because you have a limited number of mines and traps at one time, so make sure to use them wisely. Because if you see, if you use a trap and you've got that gray circle, it takes a little time to regenerate in order to use that same trap again. So you must use them wisely. Let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay here. We're going to jump into Tropical. And we've got our three traps that we have at our disposal. We also have a couple of power-ups at the bottom. Uh, we can use fire to destroy enemy camps and whirlpools to sink enemy ships. And once we get that, that will pop up uh, kind of like a notification thing in the middle bottom of the screen. Now we've got our first ship, and we apparently missed it with our sea mines. We're going to place a little quicksand there to slow him down. And we did get a boat with that other one. Now you want to place the sea mines pretty far ahead in order to make sure that you actually hit the boat. Now we've got to be careful because we've got a guy that's entering, getting ready to enter the forest right now. So we're going to come up here and place a trap. And we got him. That boat got by, so we'll use a little quicksand there. Now obviously things are moving a little bit slow right now, but trust me, they will speed up. We've got a guy heading to the forest again, so we're going to place a trap there. You want to make sure to use good angles when you're placing traps here, because otherwise you will miss them. And like I said, uh, it is noted in the tutorial there that you only get so many traps, and you've got to wait a little while for them to regenerate in order to use them again. Things are starting to pick up a little bit faster here. We're going to place some traps. And we've got a guy going through the forest. And let's see, we've got a bunch of boats coming in now. Things are starting to speed up. Place some quicksand there. We've got about four guys coming into the thing here. Now, this is where it gets tricky because you got to kind of time out your traps because you will have to regenerate and this guy's gonna get through nope I got him. got some quicksand and things are really starting to pile up here like I said taking the correct angles in order to stop the scouts from getting into your forest is basically what's gonna get you on a, a higher count for the enemies that you've stopped and we're definitely gonna get we're going to get uh, a few of the scouts getting in there, yep. And that was our game over. So we were able to stop 30 enemies throughout that board. 
And if you were able to notice in the upper left hand corner there, you can see the three circles of our, our uh, traps there. And that basically shows you uh, where to go from there. We're going to go ahead and quit this so. And there you have it. Island Raid HD is currently available on the App Store for the great price of free. So make sure to head on over and download your copy today. Island Raid HD is only available for the iPad presently, but we'll be heading to the iPhone version coming soon in the near future. As always, this is Mike over at Monster Mobile Marketing, and we'll catch you next time.